Hello everyone, this is the Introvert Positron, and welcome back to Time to Try, currently featuring Dark Souls. So last time, we made it to this room, we beat some guys, we uh, found the guy who uh, who killed the Firekeeper at Firelink Shrine, and um, I defeated him. So now we are back here with um, 14 Nessus Flasks, it's going to be 13 because I want to go into this with full health. And we are going to see what boss lies behind this fog. I can pretty much guarantee it's a boss at this point. Now the game's guaranteeing it for me. What in the world is that? What? It's a combo. Uh-oh. So, Dragon Slayer and Executioner Smog. Okay. So I know who needs to die first. Okay, let's die. I'm dead. <laughs> oh boy. That was brutal. Uh <laughs> okay. So I know what I need to do. Once I kill him, the other guy probably isn't that bad. He comes at me quickly, so I need to dodge when I see him coming. Then attack when I have the opportunity. Once execution I think that was was no, it's the Dragon Slayer. Once the Dragon Slayer is dead, then executioner smoke small smo like dough, smo I'm gonna say smo. Mojo. Uh, anyway, um, I'll be back there. Welcome to the episode, indeed. <laughs> I don't think that'll take me that long. I just kind of got into a corner. If I'd been able to get out of it, I wouldn't be able to recharge. Um, I think I am going to have to upgrade this weapon, though. With the Demon Titanate I do have. Either way, um... I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Shouldn't take me too long to get back there. Be right back. Here we go again. My sword's now stronger. I just want to get a... Oh shoot, he's right behind me. Okay, that's one down. What? This is actually kind of a cool boss fight. Oh no. Okay, so lightning resistance was definitely a good idea. I want to stay far away from him from now though. Until I can find out his patterns. I still have eight SS flasks. Let's get in a hit. Okay, let's get behind him. Okay, good. I do lots of damage per hit. However, I can only take one hit from that attack, so I don't think that I'm going to do too much better if I get hit by that. Uh, recharge. No! That's one way to die. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay, recharge. No! Okay, I'm alive. Which even I'm kind of surprised by. Okay. Um, I don't actually know if there's a way. Okay. Uh, 
Um, that should be helpful. I say should for good reason. All right, it's halfway gone. Um, maybe not my best idea, but I needed to do something. Okay, we're a good way. Of, a good way there already. So let's recharge again. Oh, the lightning it has reach. Get in some hits. Okay, recharge. One more time. Oh, and that's when I die? <laughs> I was so close. Oh, if only I had dodged that, then I could have actually gotten the hit and finish it. So, I will admit, <laughs> that is not an easy boss fight. But it's kind of cool. Um, so I'll finish. I'll pretty much get back to that point. We'll finish off the fight uh, without showing it, of course. But uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna basically get myself back to that point, and then you'll get to see the end. So I think next time will be better, and I can actually reinforce my armor like every time I go through here. Um, because I get about 10,000, which means I can buy a Twinkling Titanite. Plus, I can reinforce armor with that. So, yeah. I'll pretty much be reinforcing a piece of armor, uh, a piece of this armor every single time. So, it'll get easier every single time I do it. I felt like that was probably the smartest way to do it. Either way, I don't think it'll take me that long to do. Um, so, I'll see you when I'm back at that point. Alright, so, um, I have been unsuccessful in getting back to that point. Um, what is different now is my armor is better. I also have, uh, the ring equipped that I got from the, uh, person last time, something, the guilty. Um, which actually increased my stamina, my HP, and decreased, or rather increased my load, so I'm actually moving a little bit faster now. Uh, so we're going to go straight into this. I made the mistake last time of taking off my poise ring because that made me very vulnerable to their attacks. So I'm going to keep the poise ring on and we're going to try this one last time for today. Um, next episode we'll start with the victory. Uh, I'm going to probably have to spend some time doing that. But I believe it will be worth it. Um, anyway, what I need to do is I have to focus the Dragon Slayer first. He's too annoying to leave um, lying around, even more annoying than when they're combined. So, and the other thing I did figure out was that uh, if I damage Smo and I damage him and I kill him, then they still, uh, I still have to fight him with his uh, lightning hammer at full health. So there's no point in attacking Smo at first. Taking those hits I think was worth it. I'm mostly at full health now and all I gotta do now is be very careful. Um, because thankfully he moves back over there. Perfect, he's gonna jump back. Oh, even better. Hit one hit. I need to stay away, wait for him to do that attack again. Because if I dive past him... Um, if I use every opportunity I can get to do damage... And roll towards him when he does that, because then I can... Allow certain things to happen. Or get hit. Either way, I get to hit him. I've learned a lot. Um, I've mostly learned what not to do. But that's a good thing. This is actually the best I've done since the first time. So this is good. All I have to do is wait for him to make his moves so that I can make my moves following whatever he does. Okay, and get away from that. Because that does an incredible amount of damage.
Okay. Oh, I wish to not have such distance. Uh, what I need to do is I need to get off the ground. So what I need to do is I actually need to... Uh, is I need to uh, have a running start so that I can jump and be off the ground when that goes off. At least I think that's what it wants me to do there. All right, so let's hope that this goes through. It looks like me talking while I'm doing this is actually helping me sort it out, which is not something I ever expected to uh, to really be true. I thought talking would always make it harder for me to play these things, but this is honestly the best I've done since um, since all of you saw me doing this. But I've almost got it now. Oh, is it worth it? It was worth it. Yes! I shouldn't have taken that hit, but still. Oh, that was so lucky. I was too close to dying there. Alright, let's see where this place takes me. Although, wow, that's a lot of souls. That's like another two levels right there. Oh, I've been doing this for so long. I'm way over my recording time. But that's okay. Because it worked. It might have been easier if I'd summoned someone, but I think that that was a pretty good test of my skill in this game. Oh, it was a lot of running around, but also learning how to dodge, making sure that I did the right kind of dodges. Um, so yeah. I'm here and there's a new bonfire, which I will definitely be... Um, Enhancing because I don't know what's next. Um, to be honest, I'm gonna have to wait until next episode to get that. Um, I'm guessing that what I get here is going to be. Ooh. Uh, that what I'm going to be getting is. Uh, is something that allows me to get through that yellow fog. All right, so what does this, what advantage does this armor have? Um, because it looks like this is not the best armor, but that being said, it has a better poison resistance and anyway, I'll keep it on me for now. Um, it's pretty awesome that I, I, that I managed to do that. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go level up, save. And then it's time for me to be done with this episode. <laughs> Which is making me very happy to say. Because, again, I've been doing this for a while. This is actually probably going to be like a 20 minute-ish episode. Let me my guess. Um. Oh yeah. Either way, I'll be able to get back to uh, 10 Estus flasks because I'll reverse my hollow my hollowing. Uh, then, of course, do things like kindle twice. I'm going to gather as much humanity as I possibly can um, soon, so that I can go and like. Upgrade all the fires I've already come to, and so that I can easily find items and stuff like that. Um, because there are other ways, to, other reasons to be human outside of just um, being able to do that. So that's good. Okay, that was actually a really tough fight, but I'm happy because I did it. Oh, I'm so happy that I did that. All right, um, what did I say I do after endurance? I said resistance that I put it to about 18. And then it would be dexterity to 30. No, actually I put vitality to 35, then, um, then dexterity to 30. But yeah. So that's it for now on that front. Um, I now have access to a forge that sells me what I need to upgrade better equipment. So I'll actually be probably doing a lot here before I move on. 
Um, that being said, I'll see what's past that yellow fog if I do get something that allows me to do it. I don't know if it's going to be a whole other dungeon, if I'm going to be doing another boss before I, I get whatever item I'm looking for here is. I know there's some ultimate destination here that's going to change the game around because of that fog. Although I don't know if that is here, if it's just going to lead me there eventually. Either way, that's everything for now. So thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, basically whatever you want. Uh, remember that constructive criticism is always welcome here. It helps to improve the quality of my videos and hopefully also to improve the quality of your enjoyment. So thank you again. Have a great day and I'll see all of you very, very soon.